little bit different video for you today. I'm gonna to be talking about being triggered since it's such a hot topic right now. And when I'm referring to triggered, I'm literally referring to people being triggered by words or images. I just want you to keep that in mind. People are being triggered by certain words they don't like or images they don't like to see and they go into this psychosis of a, of a, of a mental schizophrenic state. Now, all of us, Yes, you and I all have certain triggers. The question though is how you respond to your environment. And I'll tell you why it's actually a disease when a lot of these people are triggered uh, based on whatever, based on their own prejudice against certain things. In the book, one of my favorite books, in the book, Man's Search for Meaning, author Viktor Frankl, who went to Auschwitz, been through the concentration camps, the whole length, okay? He talks about react and respond to the stimuli of your environment. And what he's talking about is this. When he was in Auschwitz, they took everything away from him. The, his dignity, his clothes, his everything. Everything you can possibly think about, they took away from him. But the only thing they could not take away from him was his reaction to the stimuli, meaning they, say the guards and the Germans and the Nazis, what they did to him, they could not take away the response he gave them. And he called that the buffer zone, that this, this invisible field between you and the rest of the world, they could not take that away from him. So no matter what they did, he would not allow them for him to react as opposed to respond, and it's big difference. When you're reacting, you're reacting on primitive levels of your emotional consciousness. So basically what you're doing is you are reacting on preset stories in your mind. For the most part, these aren't your own stories. A, you have emotional uh, baggage that you haven't handled yet. Uh, B, you have stories that have been implemented into you, such as Inception, whether that is religious ideology, political ideology, social and cultural ideology that is not your very own. I'm not saying it's good or bad, but it's not yours. So you have all these preconceptions and these preset stories that are implemented in your mind and you're reacting based on that information, which for the most part is not true or false, but you're reacting as opposed to analyzing. So when people are triggered today, it's very dangerous because they're not actually, they're, they're not actually absorbing the information, what they're receiving. So they're not really taking in what they're hearing. They're not really seeing the world for what it is. And what they're really doing is living the world like this, blindfolded. But what becomes more dangerous when you're actually triggered and that's the type of character that you are uh, exuding out there is this you become a passive character and a, and a character that is easily manipulated. Because when you're living at this level, this emotional primitive level of reacting, trust me, I used to be a reactor back in the day. I got angry, boom. Someone says something to me, I look at them with this, the, the eye. So I, was, I wasn't ever taking in what they did to me. I was never analyzing why was I behaving that way. I was just reacting, reacting, reacting. Reacting gets you in trouble. Reacting doesn't build bridges, it burns bridges. Reacting divides people and it creates in-groups as opposed to creating one group, us as a human species. Reacting is disrespecting your fellow man, your fellow woman. Reacting is very dangerous to the subconscious and the conscious mind. So when we're looking at individuals or groups or whoever, when people are reacting, you have to understand it's almost impossible to talk to them. And you, you must understand that when a person is reacting to you, whether they're saying, I take offense to that, or whether they just become angry at you, just remember that they actually don't hear what you're saying. It's really, really important. They do not hear or see what you are speaking about. So for you to continue on rambling, or for you, not even rambling, for you to continue on educating them or trying to have a a civilized discussion with them, it's impossible. It, it, I'm gonna tell you that right now. It is literally impossible to have normal, articulate discussions and conversations with people who are reactors as opposed to responders. So going back to Viktor Frankl, think about that for a moment. Being in Auschwitz, pretty much the worst concentration camp of all time, and not reacting. 
That's power. That's beyond power. That's self-control. You're on the next level of just literally controlling your psyche. But it goes beyond that, not just controlling yourself. When you respond, this gives you the superpower of analyzing and understanding what is going on in your surrounding area. When you respond, you pause, you control that buffer area. You can analyze what the person actually said or did to you, and you can analyze their, the connection. If that person says something to you, then what happens over there? Then what happens over here? Do you see everything is a chain reaction? When a, one individual is talking to you, it's not simply between you and the individual, because if you react a certain way, then you might involve a whole group of people. But if you respond articulately, you actually take into fact everything. It's almost like playing a chess game, right? So when somebody's talking to you or presenting something, something to you, when you respond, you're analyzing all the different patterns, all the different moves, and you're looking at all the different possibilities. If you do this, or if you say that, what happens? So you gotta think futuristically. So for anybody out there, and like I said, I was, and I'm still dealing with a reaction type of model, but for everybody out there who is in a reaction type of model, I have some few suggestions for you. You know, great suggestion for me is sometimes they're just pausing, you know, because we tend to speak right away or we tend to just like, re like I said, we tend to, it's, it's a muscle, it's, it's a mental muscle. So basically uh, you just pause, just pause and, and take it in and write it down. That's a great, actually, that's a great tip. I actually write down, if I'm talking to somebody and sometimes we have disagreement, I write it down because the act of writing down is you paying attention to what he or she is saying. So I write down his or her points, why is she telling me this? What is her positioning on this? And I try to put myself in her shoes, right? Because for you to understand somebody and for you to be on the same level, you must understand exactly their point of view. If you are defending a point of view on this side, and if you truly want to defend it, you must know your opponent's a point of view much better than your own. And that's the biggest problem today. When people are reacting, when people are triggered based on whatever reason they're being triggered. They have no idea what the stance of their opponent, I wouldn't call it opponent, their stance of their fellow human is. They have no idea what he or she's talking about, why is she talking about that. And it's a format, this, this primitive di the division between us. And it's, it's, I think it's, it's in our DNA kind of, the survival mechanism, be, oh, you're not part of our tribe, he's not part of our tribe, let's fight each other. But this whole idea of being triggered, we need to reprogram our mind because it may have helped us in the past, but does not help us today couple of exercises, I mentioned some, write down uh, on, a, on, a, on a pen and paper when you're talking to somebody, pause for a little bit. I'm a big firm believer in ethiogens, they really help rewire your mind and dive in deep and, and kind of do a intro, introspective um, rabbit hole down your mind and understand who you are. And also some hypnosis is really good, but please, for the love of God, stop being triggered and start mastering your own mind. And if you master your mind, like Viktor Frankl did, and, you, and when you start responding to people, the door is open. You see the world completely different. You are in control of everything that's happening to you. So I'll leave you at that. And like always guys, if you want some Bitcoin and Ethereum, leave a comment below this video. Make sure to suggest a different video or a new topic. Okay, and you gotta be a new person. If you already have Bitcoin, Ethereum, I'm not gonna give any. Make sure you share this video and make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, peace.